Welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you're just starting your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with all aspects of English life read by a native British speaker. Together we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's also about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love for the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page, where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions, share your own language journey, and as a reward for being so amazing, you will get exclusive content each month. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets of Sao Paulo, or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Get comfortable and let the learning begin. Today's episode is called Global Gastronomy. Embarking on a journey to a foreign land is not just about exploring the sights and sounds, it's also a delightful odyssey for your taste buds, sampling the local cuisine, is an integral part of travel, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the heart and soul of a culture. However, dining out in different countries isn't always a piece of cake, pun intended. From language barriers to unusual culinary customs, the experience can be a roller coaster ride of flavors and challenges. Let's delve into the joys and difficulties of eating out in various corners of the globe. Picture yourself seated at a quaint trattoria in Rome, with the aromas of freshly baked pizza wafting through the air. Ah, Italy, the land of pasta, pizza and gelato. Eating out in Italy is a divine experience, a celebration of simplicity and quality ingredients. However, be prepared for the peculiar Italian dining etiquette. Want a cappuccino after your meal? Think again. Italians consider it a breakfast beverage and might raise an eyebrow if you order it post-lunch or dinner. In Japan, dining out is an art form where every dish is meticulously crafted to perfection. Sushi, ramen, tempura, the options are endless. But before you embark on your culinary adventure, familiarize yourself with Japanese table manners. Slurping noodles? It's not only acceptable, but a sign of appreciation for the chef's cooking prowess. And don't be shy to express your delight with an enthusiastic oishi, meaning delicious. Prepare your taste buds for a fiery rendezvous in Italy. No, in India. Prepare your taste buds for a fiery rendezvous in India, where every meal is a riot of flavors and spices. From buttery naan to aromatic biryani, Indian cuisine is a sensory explosion. 
but beware of the spice levels. What might seem mild to a local could leave you reaching for the nearest glass of water. Embrace the chaos of street food stalls, but remember the golden rule. When in doubt, follow the crowd. And what about France, the epitome of culinary sophistication? Dining out in France is a refined affair, but every meal is savoured with gusto. From crispy baguettes to decadent pastries, French cuisine is a love letter to the senses. But navigating French menus can be a daunting task, especially if your French is a bit rusty. Brush up on your culinary vocabulary to avoid any embarrassing faux pas. Some meals might not be exactly what you're expecting. Thai cuisine is a harmonious blend of sweet, sour, spicy and salty flavours, guaranteed to tantalise your taste buds, but be prepared to navigate the heat levels. When ordering spicy dishes, tread cautiously, unless you have a high tolerance for chilli. And don't forget to sample the maraud of street food offerings. You never know what hidden gems you might discover. Eating out in different countries is not just about filling your stomach. It's about immersing yourself in the rich tapestry of global gastronomy. From the bustling street markets of Thailand to the refined bistros of Paris, each culinary adventure offers a unique glimpse into the heart and soul of a culture. So pack your appetite, sharpen your chopsticks, and embark on a gastronomic journey of a lifetime. Bon appétit, world traveller. As we wrap up another exciting episode of Listen Up, I'm thrilled to offer my dedicated listeners an exclusive opportunity to take their language skills to new heights. Unlock the door to fluency with private lessons with me, tailored just for you. As a token of my appreciation, I'm giving a special 25% off voucher to all my fantastic listeners. Embrace the joy of learning. Immerse yourself in a personalised language journey and watch as your confidence soars. Don't miss out on this limited time offer to make language learning an even more rewarding adventure. Use code PODCAST24 at the checkout and let the linguistic exploration begin. Thank you for joining me on this incredible language learning voyage. Your success is my inspiration.